it, it was a heartbreaking to see my fellow citizens deal with such a situations and I know how how proud we were as Syrians. Like we had a safe country, we had the best food, the best history, you know, the oldest capital in the world and now now you are just uh, someone that everyone uh, wants to get rid of. Sadness at people being afraid of me or afraid of us because we are peaceful and uh, we were peaceful and Think that they were so selfish as to as to consider it as a danger after all what we have been through is is just heartbreaking. I think it's important to tell stories of people like Najin because you know, it's a difficult time. There are more wars going on than any time in my working life, and we need inspirational pe people. We need positive stories, and also. You know, um, meeting Najim puts an incredible human face on a, a crisis that a lot of people would rather not think about. Wow. I honestly don't think anybody that meets you, Najim, or listens to you could go away and feel the same way about the refugee crisis. Well, I wanted to do my part in, in improving, improving the refugee, refugee's image because it's me, you know. I, I have been given the, this label, and I, and I I wanted people to understand. It's uh, you know once uh, once I found out that I'm gonna write this book, and I was like, it's it's your mission. You're not an adult, so it's time to carry back responsibility. But I know it's big, but you can do it. You know, you're gonna represent yourself and your country and your identity as a, a Kurd as well. So. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna have the privilege of telling the story.